Hi, Tom Andrews here, and I want to show you something uh, that is quite cool uh, in Inventor. And um, basically what it is is it's a cavity mold uh, for injecting uh, thermoplastics uh, to make fishing lures. And so basically I kind of want to show you what we're doing, uh, first of all, uh, so that you can see where it is that we're going. So um, basically what you're seeing there is a curly tail grub uh, that's a standard curly tail and we've we've designed a thumper tail that goes right onto the end of that curly tail and so basically you inject the plastic and it goes through this one eighth inch hole fills this cavity and then finishes up right here and then you can make three shots of that particular uh, thing so anyway that's what I want to go over with you today so the first thing that you need to do is to come up with your IPT part uh, of whatever it is that you're trying to design before you mold. And you kind of want to think ahead about how you want your parts to mold and, and uh, how they can be retracted from the mold. And so in this particular case, the mold, half of the lure is in the top of the mold and the other half is in the bottom. And so you inject it and split it and there's a parting line uh, that you'll see. And you see that on uh, all of the thermoplastic injection mold and stuff. Uh, so basically that's the part and you can kind of see the different extrusions to uh, and different ways that that was actually made and so uh, anyway that's what that particular part looks like so then I'll switch over to the mold base and based on uh, the, the lure size I've uh, designed a cavity to begin work with and so right here you see where the injection nozzle is and then in this area, you can see that this 1 8 inch hole is where uh, the material is going to be injected. And so uh, with those two parts in hand, and those are IPT parts, then the next thing that you do is to uh, go ahead and create an assembly Okay, file. so back at the home screen in Inventor, we need to create an assembly file. And you have to do this in the right order with the right file type. So here we have an assembly file, and we need to drop the components in that we need. And so the first component that we're going to need is this mold base. And so I always like to drop that base in uh, first. And so um, then I've got... Uh, a little bit of an orientation and I'll just hit escape so I don't drop a second one. The second part then that I need to drop then is that uh, thumper tail. Okay, so um, that's not that one. It's this one. Okay, so I'll open that one and I'll drop it in position. Now, uh, before I do anything else, what I need to do is to rotate this. It's not, you can see it's 90 degrees out of direction. And so um, in order to do that, I need to get to where I'm looking directly at the parts and looking down on them. So as I go to free rotate and I select this part, it will give me this icon. It's very careful where you put it. This is orbit and this is rotate. So it's going to rotate in that plane when it's selected like that. So we just need to get that into position and then release it. And so then what's cool about that is that you can take another one of these and simply drag it right out wherever you want it. And uh, so I'll drag a third one over here. And so at this point, what we can do, and I might just move this one. There we go. So what we can do now is we can go ahead and constrain them into position. And so what I will do is to go to this grub and I want that green center spot so I select that area right there and I want to pull it right in so that those two green dots meet up and so I hover over the bottom of this drill mold okay and you can hear it pop right in so I then I have to hit apply so then I'll pick up this one and hover and pop it in the mold and apply and then I will pick this one, the last one, and I will go to this position and drop it and hit apply. Okay, so uh, that's quite useful to be able to manipulate those uh, like that. And so now we've got all of our parts uh, set up like that. And so now what we need to do is to save this assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and do file save as. And... Um, I can just do assembly eight. We'll just call this assembly eight. Okay, so now what I need to do 
and remember I said that the, the type of file that you pick is critical. So I need to create a new IPT part. And so uh, I'll grab just a new part file. And I, this, this is where it gets kind of important that you do this right. So I have to derive this component from this part file. And so remember it was assembly eight. And so this is the one we're going to derive from. So I'll open that one up. And immediately what you can see is that I get the functionality for uh, to take control of the molds and turn them negative. And so if I click this, I can turn that each one of these into a negative uh, mold form. And so um, all I really need to do then is just click OK. And you can see that now that um, that shape has been used to cut the mold. And so uh, now what I can do is, I, if you see, I've just got, I've got too much material here, more material than is necessary. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and remove some of that. So I'm going to just go ahead and extrude it off. So to do that, I need to pro project this geometry and finish sketch and then E for extrude. And I'll flip this in the other direction. And so if you look at that, that's enough material at this point probably for a mold like this. And so now I've got that finished. The next thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to come up with a second mirrored copy of this. And in order to drop them in a 3D printer, I want to pop them together. And so I'm going to make a little 1 8 inch square right here. And so um, what I need to do is just to create a sketch right here. And once again, we'll go over and project the geometry uh, for this. And then I can... Uh, create just a little rectangle and from that rectangle then uh, I can go ahead and dimension that rectangle for just an eighth of an inch and so uh, at that point I can finish the sketch and once again E for extrude and we'll just extrude that. And I'm going to, again, just make that a 1 8 inch cube. So 0.125, check. And so um, something that's kind of neat here is that now I can save that part. And so I'll do a uh, file save as. And we'll call that part 9. And I'll hit save. And so now we have one half of our mold. And so now we need to do an assembly file again. And so uh, at this point, I'll just go ahead and grab a, an assembly file. And I will go ahead and drop this, assemb this um, eight, part eight in, or it's part nine. So I will drop part nine in. And there is part nine. And so um, what I can do here then is I can take this part, and this is kind of neat, and I right click right here, and I can come up with a component option and I can mirror this component. Now this is handy because I would have to completely recreate that with everything dropped in the opposite direction. Um, and I can't just print two of these and put them together. They won't work. They won't be in the correct orientation. But if I mirror this part, all that I really need to do is select this mirror plane and I want to mirror that part right here. So I, it, what it wants me to do then is to rename it because there are actually two parts in this assembly at this point. So I'll click OK. And then the final uh, activity, because now I've, I've got these parts exactly how I want them uh, so that I can 3D print these injection molds, uh, the last thing that I need to do is to do a file uh, save cop save as and save copy as uh, in the um, uh, STL file format. So I've already done that once. And so as you can see, this STL file is the one that the 3D printers use. So you have to select uh, that particular file type. And um, so we'll go ahead and save that. And so um, Yes, we want to do that. So anyway, uh, now it's ready to go to the 3D printer. So I hope you enjoyed that. It is 
quite complicated. Um, if and uh, I had a little bit of trouble uh, with this particular activity, but uh, with some support, uh, I was able to uh, work my way through it. So I hope it helps you if you have something like this to do.